Joseph Smith is God had specific plans and responsibilities for him. And I think sometimes people look at individuals like Joseph Smith and say, well, he was a prophet, and so that's why he had those. Um, I am one that will argue against that point. I think it's because he was a son of God that was seeking guidance and seeking revelation. And the, the titles or callings or responsibilities we have in this life, we can't compare ones as being better or more important than others. But I have a very firm conviction that God has plans for each of us. I think oftentimes I don't think of myself like in comparison to him, but because I am a disciple of Christ and because I am, have God as a central part of my life and my experience, naturally there's similarities because um, like Joseph Smith was looking for answers. And I think now like in retrospect, we can see like, oh wow, like he had lots of answers that were gonna like help benefit so many other people. And so we sometimes I think, <laughs> I think it's like this erroneous like thought that we don't even vocalize ever, but I think there's this like association that is like, oh, well, he knew, like, he knew he was going to get these big answers, and it's like, no, he was, he was looking for answers for himself, like, he was trying to find answers to his questions, he was in this place in his life that he was like, I'm confused, I don't, I don't know what truth is, I don't know what the answers are, and he was wanting to be less confused, and I think lots of times we're in that same place of being like, I'm confused, God, and I don't want to be this way, because being confused is not a comfortable feeling, um, and I think what's beautiful is that it was just, he was seeking to know. He wasn't, like, he didn't go with a specific answer in mind or wanting a specific answer, he was just wanting to know.